2023 Toyota Sienna, Honda Odyssey, and Kia Carnival. Which is the best minivan to buy? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Cult Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. Even though minivans are nowhere near as popular as crossover SUVs, they are still the superior choice for those who prioritize practicality and having the most amount of interior space possible. A few of the only remaining options that are still available on the market include the Toyota Sienna, the Honda Odyssey, and the Kia Carnival. You could also consider the Chrysler Pacifica, but I'll touch on that one towards the end of the video. So how exactly do these three minivans compare in terms of their performance, safety, and technology? Which one has the best reliability and offers the best value for your money? Well, make sure to stick around until the end of the video because that's what we're going to find out. And if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you, the consumer. So we're going to start this video off with my third place pick, which is the Kia Carnival. Now, don't get me wrong, the Carnival is a great minivan to consider. It offers a lot of advantages over the other two SUVs, especially when it comes to features and technology. There's no question, the Carnival has the most impressive interior out of these three minivans. The dual screen infotainment system with your dual displays, one behind the steering wheel and your center touchscreen is one of the best setups in the car market. The screens have amazing looking graphics, offer a lot of great features. They have a really good menu structure and of course come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And on top of that, you have a long, impressive list of features and technology, some of which is not available on the other two minivans. And this even includes a lot of great active safety technology, including Kia's Highway Driving Assist, which is one of the best driver assist safety features on the market. And not only is the technology impressive, but it also does the basics extremely well too. This is a very practical minivan with loads of interior space, lots of cargo space, and plenty of room in both the second and third row seats. And of course, you could option it with either seven or eight seating, depending on what you prefer. And this is also a very comfortable minivan to drive to with great power thanks to a naturally aspirated V6 engine that produces around 290 horsepower. The V6 comes matched to a smooth shifting 8-speed automatic transmission with front wheel drive. The V6 powertrain in the Carnival is a really good setup and unlike the 4-cylinder engines and other Kia models, it's not impacted by the major fire recall which is a really good thing. And then of course you have the other advantages which Kia is famous for, including a class leading warranty and really aggressive pricing too. Depending on the trim level that you're looking at, the Carnival is around five dollars to $8,000 cheaper than the equivalent Odyssey or Sienna, which is a lot of money to save. So if the Carnival has all of these advantages, then why exactly has it come in third place? Well, even though the drivetrain is quite good, it's not exactly that fuel efficient, only able to get around 20 to 28 miles per gallon, or 9 to 13 liters per 100 kilometers. And not only does it use quite a bit of gas, but you can't get it with all-wheel drive, which is a downside for a lot of buyers. And even though the Carnival does have more attractive pricing, it's unfortunately let down by lower resale value when compared to the Sienna or the Odyssey, which is a downside for those who plan to trade it in or sell it down the road. And the reason why the Carnival has lower resale value is because it doesn't have the same reputation for reliability that you get with the Honda or Toyota. It's a relatively new model to the market and it doesn't have an established reputation for reliability like you get with the other two models. And being a brand new model can sometimes lead to issues. For example, for the 2022 model year, the Carnival did suffer from a pretty significant recall where the fuel injection system could have a leaking fuel rail leading to an engine fire and that is a pretty significant problem. So clearly the Carnival still has some catching up to do if it wants to match the reputation of the other two. So with that said, let's move on to my number two pick, which is the Honda Odyssey. Now, unlike the Carnival, the Odyssey does have a well-deserved reputation for strong reliability, and it has been around for quite some time. Part of that strong reliability is thanks to time-tested components, like the naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 engine underneath the hood. Not only is this a very reliable engine, but it also produces plenty of power too, with around 280 horsepower similar to the Carnival. But not only do you get plenty of power with the Odyssey, but you also get a great driving experience with a solid ride, comfortable suspension, and surprisingly good handling too. And of course, the Odyssey does all the typical minivan things extremely well too, with plenty of interior space, lots of room in all three rows, and a good sized cargo area too. This is a very practical minivan with tons of passenger space and storage space. And like the Carnival, you can get it with either 7 or 8 seating configuration. It's also a very high quality interior too, but with that being said, it is a little bit lacking when it comes to the technology. 
The infotainment system, for example, is quite dated. It's nowhere near as advanced as what you get in the Kia, but it does all the basic things perfectly fine, and it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also get a pretty good camera system, and you get some neat features too, like Cabin Watch and Cabin Talk, which allows you to keep an eye on the kids in the back seats. And the Odyssey also comes with a long list of active safety features as part of Honda Sensing, so this is a very safe minivan too. With that said though, the Odyssey does have a few downsides, some of which are similar to the Carnival. Like the Carnival, the V6 engine does consume quite a bit of gas, with around 20 to 28 miles per gallon, or 9 to 13 liters per 100 kilometers. And again, like the Carnival, you can only get the Odyssey with front wheel drive, which is another drawback. And despite the fact that the Odyssey does have some pretty dated technology, especially when it comes to the infotainment system, the pricing is surprisingly high. The pricing ranges from around 39 to 50,000 US, or around 47 to 60,000 Canadian, which is quite a bit. But even with the much higher pricing of the Odyssey, I still think it offers better value than the Carnival. It has a better reputation for build quality and long-term reliability, and it also has much higher resale value too, which is very important. So even though you are paying a higher price initially, you will get that money back if you plan to sell it or trade it in down the road. The Odyssey is certainly a really good minivan, especially for those who are looking for better performance and more power. But it's certainly not the best minivan that you can buy. For that, you're going to have to look at my number one pick, which is the Toyota Sienna. There are many reasons why the Toyota Sienna takes the top spot for the best minivan that you can buy. For one thing, and perhaps the most significant reason, is the fact that it is a hybrid. And being a hybrid means that the Sienna gets much better fuel economy than the other two minivans. In the week that I've been driving my Sienna test car, I've easily been able to manage around 36 miles per gallon, or 7 liters per 100 kilometers, which is significantly better than the other two minivans. Now yes, in order to get that much better fuel economy, the Sienna's hybrid system is based around a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine, as opposed to the V6 engines that you get in the other two. And what this means is that the Sienna produces only around 245 horsepower, as opposed to 280 and 290 like you get in the Odyssey and Carnival. Now even though the power deficit of the Sienna is quite noticeable, I still think it's adequate for day-to-day -day driving. And surprisingly, the Sienna still has the same towing capacity of the other two minivans, able to tow up to 3,500 pounds, which is quite impressive. I think the trade-off in power for much better fuel economy is going to be a major bonus for a lot of buyers. And another major bonus is the fact that the Sienna offers optional all-wheel drive, something that you can't get in the other two minivans. There's no question that a lot of buyers, especially those who have to deal with winter conditions, are looking for all-wheel drive. And the fact that you can get it in the Sienna gives it a huge selling point. But not only are you getting an amazing hybrid system with great fuel economy and all-wheel drive, but you're also getting the best reputation for reliability in the segment. And because the Sienna is known for being such a reliable, problem-free minivan, it also has sky-high resale value too, so you're going to get a lot of your money back if you decide to trade it in or sell it down the road. And on top of all of that, the Sienna is a very well-designed minivan with a great driving experience. It's also extremely practical with tons of interior space, lots of room in all three rows, and lots of storage space up front too. As far as I can tell, the only real downside with the Sienna's interior is the fact that you can't remove or fold the second row seats, which does limit the space to some degree. But if you can live with that and just fold the second row seats forward to give you more space, there's really not much else to complain about. And although the technology is not as flashy as what you get in the Carnival, it is very functional. The infotainment system is very simple and easy to use. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you have a very straightforward control setup too. And it also has top-notch safety with a long list of active safety features as part of Toyota Safety Sense. And then you have the attractive pricing. The Sienna is really no more expensive than the Honda Odyssey despite the fact that it has a hybrid drivetrain and offers all-wheel drive, which makes it a great value. So when you put it all together, the hybrid system with amazing fuel economy, the all-wheel drive, the reputation for reliability and high resale value, and the very practical package with good technology and safety, it's really tough to beat the Sienna. And for these reasons, it really is the best minivan that you can buy on the market right now. Now, of course, there is a fourth option to consider, which is the Chrysler Pacifica. Now, the Pacifica does have some great things going for it. It has a very practical package with lots of interior space, second and third row seats that both fold into the floor, and you also have a lot of great features and technology too. 
It would be a very desirable minivan and one worth recommending if it weren't for its incredibly high pricing, below average reputation for reliability and low resale value too. Historically, if you look at its reputation for reliability, the Pacifica has just been too problematic to make it worth recommending. So for that reason, it's the easiest one to scratch off your list if you're considering buying a minivan. So let me know what you think of the 2023 Toyota Sienna, Honda Odyssey, and Kia Carnival. Which of these three minivans would you buy? Or would you buy something else instead? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcanada.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.